Fellas, welcome back to a huge, really expensive haul. We'll get to it in a second, but before we do, we just have to mention where all this came from. Not familiar with a certain get together of mockers and stuff. This is World War Brick. It happened in Minneapolis, and it's it's Brick Mania hosted it, and it's very basically where military Lego people, uh, military mockers, some Star Wars people, but mostly military, get together for like a brick fair type deal, but just exclusively for military stuff. And it was probably maybe the greatest weekend of our lives. Still, the Chantilly one was really great. It's kind of like comparing apples and oranges. But anyway, we had a fantastic time. We met we did. so many awesome people that we really just can't mention all of them in this video because there's just there was probably. A, Three, four dozen of them? Yeah. They were just incredible. Well, but we'll get to them little by little. Yes. So, there we were. At Brickmania. Now... At, at Brickmania and... There, there will be a vlog coming out um, for this probably on Saturday. But we arrive Thursday night and we go into the GHQ. Now, this is right before the public... Uh, well, it's right before everybody gets there. They get there Friday. We arrive Thursday. And we go into the Brickmania GHQ. And we're thinking, okay, this is going to be our like main pickup day because... What we want is probably going to be gone by the time we come back. So we're like, Thursday, we need to shop. This is before we have a 10% coupon. <laughs> Alright, so let's let's uh, show you what we got the first time. And we thought the last time we were going to be there. Alright? Oh, there we go. This huge Brick Mania bag. But we're going gonna to get to the, the small thing first, which is still awesome. We got three things in this in this one. We got the Ghost of Kiev minifigure, which is very, very cool. If you know the history, you know what that's about. Then you got the military police 4x4 truck Jeep combo, which is very, very awesome. Two custom printed minifigs there. Pictures up on screen. You might not know, but we have the Roman Castro Barracks. And we've been thinking about getting the Batorium, but we decided to settle for the Porta Roman Gatehouse. So this is actually sold out online. There was so one left. We got that bad boy, the Porta Roman Fort Gatehouse, and it was actually on sale. So we saved like 200 bucks. It was 732 bucks instead of 950, I think is what it originally. So yeah, very, very cool. Now we have two out of the four Roman guys. So this is awesome. Can't wait to build this up. And we promise you, since we were working on the mock for World War Brick, now we're gonna start building our Roman fort, okay? You get the gatehouse, you get uh, two the plans for two towers <laughs> yeah. that look like rooks on the corners and then for the walls. So yeah. a lot of cool stuff in this Very game. Very cool stuff. Um, designed by Team Brick Mania. Everybody had a hand in this. It was so epic. 1,500 Lego pieces. It took a number of people to put it together. We thought this was probably going to be the last thing we would buy. We would, we, we might pick up the event kit, you know, and, and you know, we're just going to chillax because this is a lot of money, and we've been spending a lot of it. Like, what happens? So, you get really excited and happy and euphoric, and you come up with all sorts of reasons well, why you should get a kit. The M 1841 Mountain Howitzer. Um, this was a very old Brick Media kit from 2014. We picked it up at the yard sale for 20 bucks. So, I mean, we thought this was a good deal. We like it. We have it now. And then, they, we also got two freebies. Two freebies at World War Brick. This is if you had signed up and you held on to your um, pass or whatever, you got two of these guys. So, so we so signed up in cool. 2019 and, yep. of course, the 2020 and 2021 was World War Bricks were canceled due to COVID. So Dan's saying, hey, for sticking with this, holding yeah. on to your passes, I'm gonna reward you and reward us he did with yes. these two really cool minifigs. So thank you, Dan. This is the uh, custom minifigure, the Force Recon Marine, designed by Lando. And this is the World War Brick Special Drop minifigure. So we got four of these bad boys. It comes with a custom perfect caliber um, gun there. I'm not sure which gun that is, but it's very cool. Um, 360 printing as always. Beautiful cambo by Lando. I mean, he does an exceptional job on everything. 3D printed helmet, back printing, yeah, the whole, the whole thing. Dave, what are your opinions of this dope minifigure? Lando knocked it out of the park once again. Yeah, he really did. And to go along with that, we got the World War Brick event kit. This set is awesome and we cannot wait to build it. It's a uh, little Jeep, the M161. So yeah, very, very cool. I think this was a hundred bucks, which actually, for Brickmania, seems kind of cheap. 
Well worth the price. Yeah, definitely well worth the price. Here's where things get kind of crazy. <laughs> All right? Like, insane. So, we had already spent a considerable amount of change, which is around a grand, so it's really expensive stuff. And Dave gets the idea, well, actually, first, we're, we went down to GHQ to check again on some stuff, how they sold stuff. We went down with the group. Now, this is where Dave's peer pressure comes into play. In my peer pressure, I had a plan. Anyway. I had a plan and I stuck to it. We met these two awesome great people, Simon and Anthony. Simon actually designs for Brickmania. He's from uh, overseas in England and he's just an incredible guy. Yes. Yes, he's uh, just incredible. So thank you, so, Simon. Actually a fan of the channel. But anyway. We had to get everything that Simon did. Yes. And that's what we did. Yes. But we also met our good friend George, George Hicks. Hicks, who also is a Designs. freelance designer, yes. and George and Simon yep. collaborated, collaborated on some stuff. and so we kind of ran out of money to get all George's stuff, but we did get one of his as well. And then we also picked up another thing. So yeah, this was like five kits, I think we yeah. figured but out it, to. It was, it was in the plan, so it doesn't count. We got freebie which is this Brickmania water bottle. We got two of these. This is very cool. Custom printed winners on board. They're built. Yeah, very, very this cool. This was in our uh, goodie bag you goodie got bag. when you checked in. The goodie bag was filled with all kinds of stuff. Um, some other goodies, we'll go with that at the end. Here, here we go, the kits, all right? Starting off small, we got the L118 light gun, which is designed by George Hicks. So yeah, we got that bad boy. He signed it for us, which is great. Um, very, very cool kit. Surface Ace to Air Missile Launcher, which this is a collaboration between Simon Jones and George Hicks. They both signed it. So uh, yeah, this is gonna go with the other stuff we got. Uh, rapier. rapier. Surface to Air Missile Launcher. Okay. On. Now this one has a little bit of a funny story. Um, this is the LR-101 FC Light Utility Vehicle. This was designed by Simon Jones and George Hicks. And Simon has a little bit of a funny tale to go along with this one, doesn't he, Dave? Yes, he does. We'll get into it in more detail when we interview Simon, but essentially this is the first vehicle that Simon ever drove. And let's just say it didn't end well. So stay tuned for our interview with him and we'll tell you more about that. It's really hysterical. All right, you have tractor with bomb cart and Waffa? Waffa Ground Crew. So, yeah, very cool. This was designed by Simon. A little cool tractor. It's just a really smart, smart design. I think this is lastly. We uh, bought the Swift boat. <laughs> well, this is on your top list of uh, Brickmania regrets. Uh, yeah. Brickmania kits you wish you had bought the first time around, and they had uh, a couple in stock, and we snagged yeah. one. Yeah. And uh, we were celebrating your. Uh, Hitting 3,000 subscribers. Yeah, some so, by the way, thank you so much. Um, but yeah, Swift Boat Patrol Craft Fast, designed by Dan. Um, awesome minifigures. This is one that I've been wanting for quite a while. I'm a big fan of the ships and haven't really hadn't had the chance to get them. It was on sale for 572. So yeah, we got this up pretty cheap. This really cool thing, George Hicks actually gave this to us. Um, and now this is, I believe, the clock scale um, Brook Arms guns, and this was the um, Smelly, mm -hmm. the Smelly British uh, gun. And this will definitely be in the hands of Yoda, so George will definitely uh, give you a photo of that. But yeah, that's very cool. This is the last of the goodies that we got here, there at World War Brick. Most of those were, actually all of those were gifts um, by different people. These two, actually all these were um, from Simon. And he gave us a Scallywag, which is Churchill's Secret Army, the RAF, RAF pilot, a plane engine, which we can actually, for the bomb carts we build, we can have the plane engine, a Nerf gun uh, given to us by Slam, a uh, little Union Kepi there, given to us by Amanda, I believe, and the World War Brick, Brick Mania printed brick there, given us to by Dan. So thank you all uh, for those. That was very kind. All right, so that concludes our pretty epic haul for uh, for World War Brick. Thank you again. There was tons of people. We got our autographs. Our people wanted our autographs. Got pictures with people. Great people we bet. Just, it was an amazing time and can't wait for next year. So yeah. Dave, anything else to say? No, it's a great weekend. 
Uh, I wish <clears throat> World War Brick was like every month. Yeah. But in a way, it's probably good. It's only once a year because any more than that would probably kill us. Bankrupt we had us. Too much fun. Yes, we really did. So thank you to the Brick Maniacs for putting it on. You guys did an awesome job, and hopefully we'll be back at Minneapolis next time. Hopefully. But wherever you go, we'll come. <laughs> You set up a, a tent on the North Pole. We'll be there. Yes, we will. Thank you again. See you guys in the next one.